Hi there, I'm Eitan and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is the second video in the series of how to integrate PDF Generator API with your Wix website and create custom PDFs. Uh, in the previous video, I explained how to set up a template for your PDF on the generator. And in this video, I'll be showing you the actual Wix integration. So let's get started. <music> Okay, so over here we have the documentation for how to integrate this API with uh, Wix, and it uses several NPM packages to kind of expedite some of the things that might take more time uh, if you're using the generic API, such as authentication and generating the PDFs. And the first step to get started with this integration is to save the API key and secret in your secrets manager. So if you'll go over to your account in the PDF generator API, if you haven't created one yet, this is the time you'll see here on the bottom, you have the API credentials and on the left, you have the API key and the right, the secret. I'm not going to explain in depth about this. Uh, if you want, you can check out my other video, which goes over API integrations in general, and I explain more there. So what we need to do is we need to copy over this API key and secret to our secrets manager. And it's important to do it as it is specified in this documentation over here. So there's a specific way that they want us to name each of the secrets. So if I hop over to my secrets manager, then you will see over here that I've already stored the two uh, API keys. So this one is the one that's called key, the one that you could see uh, when I was in my account. And this one is the secret. And the way you would store them is just by clicking over here, store. And one thing that I want to point out here is that for the API key, uh, this is something that I had a challenge with when I was doing this the first time. So if you show this over here, and this isn't a problem to show you because this is not my secret. This is just kind of like my username. You can think of it. And what you want to verify here when you're pasting your API key or API secret into the secrets manager is that you don't have a situation where you have blank spaces. Okay. You can see here that there's kind of some blank spaces after my uh, key. And this will create a problem when you're doing the authentication because it's basically changing the value of your key. So you want to just backspace over here and you want to make sure that there's no additional space after your API key. So if you've been following along this tutorial, you've tried the PDF uh, generator before and you haven't managed, this might be why. So I'm just going to save that change over here so that we don't have any problems with this in the future. Now that I've saved my secrets in the secret manager, what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and install the NPM packages that I'm told to install. So I'm going to head over to my Wix website and I'm going to go over here to packages and apps. And you're going to want to install two NPM packages. And here I have them installed already, but it's these two. It's the JSON web token and the PDF generator API client. And just to refresh, the way you install is by going over here, install NPM package, and just look for the package by the package name. Now that I have these two packages installed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a backend file where I am going to put the starter code that is provided by the integration. So I'm going to create a new uh, web module over here, and I'm just going to call this PDF. And inside this module, I'm going to erase all of the boilerplate code, and I'm going to go over to the instructions for the integration. And you'll see that after the NPM dependencies, there's a GitHub, uh, GitHub, sorry, repository with some starter code that we can use. So I'm going to go over to the repository. And what we need here is the backend code. And we need the PDF API. Okay. And what we're going to do over here is I'm just going to copy all of this code 
over into my uh, over into my website. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to go over to my backend, and I'm just going to paste that right over here. And I'm going to go over and explain very briefly uh, what we have over here. First, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just so you can see the code a little better. Uh, excellent. Great. So I'm actually going to start here from the bottom. Okay. And you can see here that the bottommost function is our create JSON web token function. And what it does is it basically gets our API key and API secret and it creates the token. So this is something that you probably would have struggled with a little bit if you had used the uh, generic API. And you can see here why it's important that we use the names that they gave us because that's how they're fetching the secret. Obviously, you can change the name here and in your secrets manager as well, and it would still work as long as the names were aligned. Uh, the next thing that we have here is something called create client, which uses the JSON web token uh, that's created over here. And you'll see here that all of these take a parameter that's called workspace identifier. And essentially, that is the email that you used to sign up for this service. And here we have another function that's get templates and get editor URL. So we're actually not going to be using those two functions. So you can, you could, um, probably get rid of them, uh, but it's better not to if you don't need to, just so you don't break anything here in the code. And this is the key function that we are going to be playing around with, which is the generate PDF. Uh, and this has a workspace identifier, template ID, merge data, and merge options. So this is where all the action happens. And they've created some helper functions which is uh, generate PDF URL and generate PDF uh, binary. Here, I'm just going to note that this function did not work for me, and I needed to change this output to something else for this to actually work. So if you want to create the PDF binary, I recommend you check out the actual API documentation, and it explains what the different kinds of outputs you can have are, and you'll need to change that to the appropriate uh, output for binary. What we're going to be using, though, is this generate PDF URL. So you can kind of just forget everything that I said until now, and we're going to be focusing on just this one function over here. And you can see here that we need uh, three things for this function to work, and that is the workspace identifier, the template ID, and the merge data. So as I said, workspace identifier, if we go over to our account over here, and we go over to dashboard, I think it was, sorry, not dashboard, it was maybe admin panel, bear with me here. So we have here our workspace identifier. And here you can see that that workspace identifier is basically the email that I used for this account. And we're going to need a template ID. So if I go over here to templates, then uh, I realize here that I forgot to save my template last time. So I'm just going to save my template from the last video. And my template is saved. And now I'm going to refresh this page just so that I can see my template. And here you have the template ID. And the data is the data that we that provided for our template, which, if you remember, was a name and content. And if you don't remember, then you probably didn't watch the last video, and I recommend that you do. So let's head over to our code. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test out this function to make sure that everything is working. So I'm going to click this Play button over here. And here we're given the option to provide our workspace identifier, template ID, and merge data, and to check that the function is working. So I'm going to zoom out a little tiny bit, just so we have a little more room to work here. And I'm going to put my workspace identifier, which is the email account. 
And then I'm going to get the template ID. So that was from right over here. I'm just going to copy over this template ID. Sorry for all the jumping around. And here is the merge data. So this data, uh, I'm going to provide it as an object. And this is going to be an object with two things. So it's going to be the name. And let's say I'm going to create a new name. So I'm going to use, I don't know even, let's see if I can spell Ron Weasley. I think that's right. And content. Okay, and this is going to be, uh, I have red hair. Okay, and here, uh, notice this also, I guess, has to be in JSON format, which means that this needs to be a string. And now we're not getting any errors. Great. So if all went well, when I click run here, what I should be getting is a URL to a PDF that was built with this data. So I'm going to run this over here. And this was returned with a response, which is this URL. And if I take this URL and I paste it into my browser, then you'll see that I have a custom PDF with the data that I provided, which is Ron Weasley and I have red hair. And that's all for this video. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to take this one step further and use this PDF URL to do different things um, on your Wix website, and also how to integrate this function with the front end so that this PDF is generated not using the back end function like I showed you now, but the front end of your website. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you see the next video. See you next time.